right, in this video I want to go over the uh, Poisson distribution and how we could apply it and then use GeoGebra to use the Poisson distribution to compute probabilities. So I want to start with this example, Atlanta's uh, Hartsville-Jackson Airport. It's one of the busiest in the world and uh, we'll assume there's an average of 2,500 arrivals and departures each day. And we're going to assume that these planes arrive and depart at a fairly uniform distribution throughout the day. So during the day, the morning, the night, we're going to assume it's a fairly uniform distribution. So we could apply the Poisson distribution. So first thing we want to know is, well, how many airplanes arrive and depart at the airport per hour? So we're going to look at well, the arrivals and departures per hour. So we're looking at, in this case, we're looking at an average mu. And that's going to be 2,500, excuse me, 2,500 divided by 24. And that's going to be approximately 104.667, if we want to round to three decimal places. And notice I'm using this mu notation, because this is the average over an interval. So it's flights per hour. So we're going to use the Poisson distribution to figure out what is the probability that there are exactly 100 arrivals. So for notation, the probability that x is identically equal to 100. And now I need to go into GeoGebra to compute that. And I'm going to view probability calculator. And let's see, let's make that quite as big. Let's make this larger. Okay, I want to make sure we move up this bottom area so we could see all my input options. And I don't want normal in this case. I want binomial. So click on binomial, or excuse me, not binomial, the Poisson. Doing the Poisson distribution. And I have mu. I'm just going to type in 2400 divided by 24. Click on enter. And we get a new distribution. So we set up the Poisson distribution. And in this problem, we said that there are exactly 100. So if I go back to the probability calculator on the bottom right here, I do want to click the interval. And I want both of these values to be 100. But notice if I type in 100 and click enter, I get an error. Because this larger value, the right side, always needs to be bigger than or equal to the other value. So click enter here. On this side, click 100, click on enter, and we have our percentage, 3.66%. I'll keep it as a decimal, 0.3036. What is the probability there are at least 120 arrivals and departures? So I want to know what the probability of x is at least, that's 120 or more. So x is greater than or equal to 120. And we can write that in two different ways. So x is greater than or equal to 120. So when I go to GeoGebra, since it's a greater than, I want to pick right-sided. Click on this tab. x is greater than or equal to 120. Click Enter. And then we get 0 0.069. So there's so about a 7% chance that any one hour will have 120 or more arrivals and departures. And the last question, what is the probability there are at least 150? So I'm going to go down here. What's the probability that x is greater than or equal to 150 because it's at least. Going over to the binomial calculator, change this 120. 150, since we're still greater than or equal to, click on enter, and I get zero. So I want to note right here, this is not exactly zero. The problem with GeoGebra is it only gives you four decimal places. So there are only four decimals. So this is not exactly zero. This is what I'm going to call a statistical zero. So I'm going to get rid of that equal sign, make it approximately zero. So we can say there is a statistically
Not exactly zero, it's just means it's highly unlikely.